Good morning, Tennessee. From WATE 6 in your side starts now. All right, thank you, Ryan. Well, maneuvering the real estate world can be tricky <laughs> trying to figure out when to buy and what to buy. Whitney Nicely is here to give you some tips on how to be successful when looking to buy a home. Welcome, Whitney. Thank you so, so much for joining us. And you're a real estate broker as well as a coach. What got you into this? Well, I work for my mom's company. I'm the fourth generation trucker, and I had a regular job, and it just didn't give me enough creative capabilities, so I started into real estate. And about eight weeks after I started, I cashed out my first deal for about 15000 So I was pretty much hooked, and everybody knew I was onto something at that point. What are some tips that you tend to give people that want some answers? Well, if you're going to buy a house, especially if it's going to be your first house, I would encourage you to buy a triplex or a quadplex. I say this on my radio show all the time that a single family house, you're on the hook for that mortgage. Whereas if you have a triplex, which is three doors, or quadplex, four doors, then you have three or four other people chipping in on your mortgage, on your taxes, on your insurance, and you could basically live for free. And you don't need a lot, a lot of money to buy a house, right? What if people think they don't have enough money to buy? Do they? What do they? What can they do? There's a lot of government programs and mortgage breaks that people can get into, and a lot of times people don't realize that there's also owner financing situations out there. Like a lot of the houses I buy are no money down, no interest free and clear houses that people just don't want anymore. And after 2008, a lot of people are a little weary about the housing market. Is it on the, the comeback? Is this the time to invest in the housing market? You can always invest in real estate and it'll grow forever. Now you need some strategies, you need to know what you're looking for, you need to make sure that things are going to work out for you, but you can, it's like planting a tree. The best time to plant it was 20 years ago. So if you can buy a house now, even if it is your first time house and you do want to buy a regular house, make sure it's something that you could rent or you could sell or it's something that somebody else is going to want. Great, and thank you so much for the tips, but you also have a radio show, and you talk a yes. lot about this. When people ask you questions, what are some of the things that they really want to know? What kind of advice is most useful? Well, people think that they need $100,000 to get started in real estate, and on one of my first pieces of property, I bought a half-acre piece of land for 1500 bucks, and most people could come up with 1500 bucks if they tried, and a couple months later, I had it rented. I rented the driveway for $250 a month. So in six months, I had my money back. In a year, I doubled my investment, and I've had that property forever now. And you know, if you have $250 a month coming at you, you can go get your hair and nails done. <laughs> it could make your car payment for you. Or if you had an extra 250 that you didn't work for, and you put that towards your principal, you would pay down your primary house you know, probably 10 years faster. But what I would really encourage you to do is save that 250. And then the next year you can buy two acres and rent it for $500 a month. So now you got 750 coming at you every month. Mm -hmm. And you save that for another year, you got your investment back, you buy another piece, maybe you're in it for $1,000. And this is just land because people are afraid of houses. But if you just buy land and it comes back to you and two or three years later, you're making 1750 a month off an investment, that could change people's lives. It's all about that forward thinking. Boy. Yes. Put some money into it. Put that seed in, the flower grows. Absolutely. Right? Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate all the tips. We hope you learned something as well. If you would like more information, you could head to our website, wat.com. Just look for the Ask Not section.